I once yeah. wore an entire denim outfit yeah. into your show when you were hosting late night. That's I just to see if you had a comment on yeah. my entire denim outfit, and you had no comment. Well, I, because it looks so attractive. And speaking of attractive, I think it's safe to say Ashton Kutcher's life is looking pretty good. His successful career has been one red carpet thrill ride after the next, starring on hit shows like That 70s Show, Netflix The Ranch, and Two and a Half Men. But between you and me, I just hope I don't get punked. Now, do you have any idea why you're here today? I don't have the slightest idea. Okay, we're calling this episode Ashton Kutcher's Dream Cars. These are cars that have eluded you in life. Cars you may have dreamed about as a child and have not seen them since. We have three today. I think you'll be pleased. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. That's right, you're not dreaming, you're driving. Welcome to Ashton Kutcher's Dream Cars. All right, let me get car number one. Am I following you or No, me? you stay here. Okay, I'm staying here. So here we are waiting for Jay to show up with the dream car. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now except for wait. <laughs> it's, it's actually really hard to focus on anything other than all of the cars that are around you. If you can't tell, I'm very... <laughs> wow! That sounds like power! Oh, boy! Well, it's definitely a V8. Could be a truck, could be a muscle car. This is exciting. Hey, mister, get out of the way. Yeah. It's an SS. It's just an SS. Just an SS. That's the understatement of the year. This 1972 Super Sport Chevelle is a fully restored resto mod with a muscle-bound 454 cubic inch engine giving 650 horsepower that could easily knock Ashton socks clean off. And if he isn't thrilled by this slick, sleek four-wheel powerhouse, I should probably check his pulse just to be safe. American Muscle Car called it. Would this be one? That's a 454 SS right there, folks. That's right. Um, yeah, that, that can be real exciting. Now, why is this a Aston Dream Car? I'm, I'm a big American muscle car guy. Like, I really like it. I like it right. big block. I like it fast. Right. I like that. I like it loud. There was Because loud right. means fast. Yeah, you know, the back tires, you can let them loose a little bit. Right. It always goes back to your childhood, the car that you wanted to, like, pull up in. Sure. That you felt like right. suddenly you would have a place in the world. And I was driving a 1983 Ford Escort. Right. So it wasn't this. <laughs> no, right, right. And as right. soon as you started it, you could just hear it's that like growl that these things have. Right, right, right. It's partially the way that it sounds, partially the sleekness on the lines on it. I like that it's a fastback. So this would be a dream car. This would be a dream car. See, I well, you even went up in your voice when you said that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I get real excited. See, I, see, I you sense, know, it's me. I sense that you, you and I we get a little excited about these things. Our voices go up. That's what we do. I sense that you were doubting me when I said we had three dream cars. You had that skeptical I, look on your face, and of course, it turns out to be exactly what you've been dreaming about. This is definitely in the dream car element. All right, you ready for car number two? I'm ready for car Let's number go two. Go car number two. All right. Let's see if I can call it. Oh, okay. All right. That is not a big block muscle car. Well, oh, oh, hold on. No. Hello. Hello is right. Unless you're in the rear view mirror, this 1969 El Camino SS396 Turbo Jet V8, then it's goodbye. With a 325 horsepower engine, three-speed automatic transmission, and dual exhaust, it's a thrill ride made to haul some... <laughs> this is a family show, so just use your imagination. That's a beastly El Camino, my friend. I have not seen an SS396. They were fairly rare. The thing about the El Camino is that the back end gets real squirrely. Right, right. Real fast, because there's no with, weight there. Especially with a 396. Now, which one do you like better so far? I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna go with the Chevelle so far. You like the Chevelle so far? Yeah, okay. only just because I haven't driven that, and I've driven, I've driven an El Camino, not this El Camino, but I'm also like kind of scared to drive this. Really? I'm only kind of scared because I think the. Well, I mean, I, if you're frightened, minute, it would be foolish to I think, have you drive it. I think the back end. We could bring a man in who could drive you. A real man. Are you you? Is that uh, what you're trying to say? If you'd like, I'd make sure the child safety seat was in there. Okay. I'm Why would you be afraid to drive it? I'm not afraid to drive it. I just think that the minute that you lay into this thing, the wheels are going to turn over and then. But don't you want to find out? Uh, OK. Huh? Sure. I, All right, look, 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 there's one more. You're asking me. It's my dream, Jay. Before you, it's turning into a nightmare. 
Now, before, before, before you make your choice, let's see the last car. All okay. Right. All right. Well, look, I'm going to bring in car number three. Okay, this one is totally different. And you have a connection with this car, which will not be evident at first. You may have to unravel the mystery. Yes, but I think you'll be stunned because we had to go to great expense to find this. We had to track this down. Okay. Let me get it. I'm so terrified about what is it gonna show up here. Uh. This vehicle doesn't sound like it's running. Am I meant to look? You can take a look. Ashton's next dream car might not be a muscle car with a 265 horsepower, 3.3 liter turbocharged flat six engine and a four speed manual transmission. This all star is a player in the big leagues, just like its previous owner. This is in the realm? Yes. What is this? It's a Porsche 930 Turbo. Uh, y y y y tell me what that means. All right. Who was your favorite football player? My favorite football player of all time is Walter Pate. This is Walter Payton's car. You got it. Yes, this is Walter Payton's car. You got it. Well, the reason we pushed it in is because there's no engine in it right now. The engine's being worked on, but we said that's okay. We want to get it here, so I think you get a kick at it. But this would be a the fact that it's Walter Payton's car is that's all it needs to be. Exactly. It's unbelievable. It's a dream. Can I look around? It is a dream. You want to sit in it? Sit where Walter Payton sat. Can I? Go ahead. Yep. This feels like 34's car. That's his car. Wow. That's insane. This is bananas. Very nice guy. That's crazy. He was unbelievable. Well, since this one doesn't drive, you have to choose one of the other two dream cars. Would you rather take the Chevelle or the El Camino? You want to go with that fear of the 396. My neighbor has the Chevelle, and I'll drive his Chevelle. Let's drive it to me. Uh, I'll come in. Otherwise, I'm never going to be drive. I'm never going to drive. You want to go with that fear of the 396? I want to. Yeah. Well, let's just see if we can keep the wheels on the ground. Let's give it a shot. All right. Driving a car. There you go. That's what we look for. It's just the growl. Yeah. Now, what's the first car you had a romantic encounter in? I think it was like a uh, 1986 Ford Tempo, four-door sedan. That would have been all you, because you're not going to impress a girl with an 86 Ford Tempo. Yeah, I kind of closed the deal in spite of the car. Right, wow. <laughs> not, not That's impressive. The car. First car you got a speeding ticket in. It was a uh, 1983 Ford Escort, and I drove it as if it were a, uh, a muscle car. And I lost my driver's license. When? When you uh, <laughs> I, th I think I made it until I was 17, and then yeah. I lost it for too many tickets. Oh, is that all right? Speeding or what? My last violation was a rolling stop on a stop sign. Oh. And I begged the guy. I was like, come on. I was like, listen, I'm going to lose my driver's license if you give me this ticket. He's like, you shouldn't have rolled through the stop. It was on a freeway exit on a country road. It's hard to not speed on country roads. There are no other cars around you. Right, right. Are there two cops behind us? There are or two one? cops behind us. Oh, there you go. I didn't. <laughs> oh, whoops, cops. Oh, that's good. That's real smart. Yes, yeah. right, right by the guy. I didn't mean to burn out. That's what I'm saying with this car. Did you get tickets? Oh, wait, hold on. Are they following us? Oh, great. Great. Now we got 5 0 on our tail. Are there two cops behind us? There are two one? cops behind us. Oh, there you go. I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to explain Your Honor, to you. I don't know. I, I, Your no. Honor, I was hitching no. and he gave me a ride. Your Honor, I wanted to drive a different vehicle, and Jay questioned my manhood. And I was like, yeah, but the tires on this thing are going to break free. So if you're going to give a ticket to anyone. Oh, geez, play it cool, Kutcher. Don't go to pieces on me now. David, are these cops with us? No. OK, because they turned around. 
Great. Now we got 5-0 on our tail. That's right. I'm so gonna lose my license. I haven't had a ticket in a really long time, knock on wood. Should I tell him now or later that this car is stolen? Well, Ashton, thanks for coming by. Was the Walter Payton car the biggest surprise? Uh, the Walter Payton car is yeah. beyond the big surprise. I, I never thought I would sit in it. Oh, Dreams yeah. do come true. Dreams do come true.